as you can see I'm getting ready to paint my calipers I've made a uh, little paint station in my garage covered everything up and here goes nothing I'm using a uh, duplicolor red high temperature caliper paint with ceramic the instructions are short burst light coats 10 minutes between each so let's see how this goes I've never used this paint before so what I'm doing right now It's a very light coat. I'm just trying to get something on there tacky. Okay, that's going to be my light tack coat. I will come back in 10 minutes. Back for the second coat. The first coat went on really nice. I got to say, this uh, Duplicolor caliper paint it sprayed very nice. I, I was so impressed with how it sprayed. Um, I got a really nice tack coat on there. Now the second coat I'm probably going to do it about exactly the same technique. The third coat uh, I won't be so afraid. I need to fill in the ribs on top or the fins. Um, that's going to be the troubled area here. That's where I'm going to get my build up of paint. I'm so impressed on how nice this can sprays. Okay, that was a little bit heavier coat. Uh, a full 10 minutes of cure time on this one. Uh, much more even, it looks a lot nicer. My first coat is a very light tack coat. T tack, tacking is a, a term in automotive painting. I suppose it's tacking is a term in painting where you just very lightly cover the surface to get something tacky on there for the co coats to stick to. You definitely don't want a thick coat on your first coat. The second coat, same technique, a little more cover. My second coat, I actually was able to put on a little thicker than I wanted to, but it, it went on so nice. I, this paint is amazing. It's very high quality. It's very thick. It, if you've sprayed automotive paints before and you've used like a brand name like a PPG where it's a really thick paint and it sprays really nice and then you compare that to a paint of half its cost and it's really runny and liquidy that's what this is I mean this is not your normal rattle can paint this is a, this is amazing so now I'm on my third coat what I need to, and there's a lot left in here what I need to do is get in the fins really good and make sure I'm around the edges I'm um, not going to focus really on any one area Make sure I get things from all angles. Okay, I'm going to do one more coat. Be back in 10 minutes. All right, this is it. Last coat. Um, it looks pretty good. I don't have any runs. I'm not really sure what I'm going to paint here. I'm going to look. I know there's some, just some little spots that are thin around edges and corners that won't be visible when it's mounted but you know what I'm here I'm already set up and I'm just gonna do it
Wow, it looks really good, guys. So, I'm only half done. I still have the other half of the calipers to paint. Um, I didn't want to buy off more than I can chew today because I am limited on time. I do have to go to work. And uh, I didn't know how much paint I was going to need, so I didn't want to take off more than I could handle without ever doing this project before. Everything is fine. I've got plenty of paint. I did three coats. Well, actually, I did, I sprayed four times. The first coat was a very light tack coat. And the fourth coat was just touch up. I let the final coats of paint cure for a little bit longer. I'm going to add a Duplicolor Gloss Clear with ceramic. It's an engine enamel clear coat for high temperature. It says to apply within one hour of the top coats. Uh, what the clear coat does, for people that don't know, what the clear coat does, it does two things. It, it adds a nice gloss to it, makes it a little bit shinier. I mean, it's a nice shiny red paint anyways, but it will actually make it pop just a little bit more. But also what clear coat does, and even more important, it makes it more durable. It's like a coat of armor. I'm going to do the same technique. Okay, clear coat, coat number two. 